This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash TYT for an awesome free trial membership. Here's what Scott Walker has been saying pretty much for the last month. Uh, of course, he took office this year. Quote, on February 11th, Scott Walker, I don't have anything to negotiate. This was the day he unveiled his budget repair bill aimed at closing the $137 million gap in the budget that ends June 30th. We're broke in this state. We've been broke four years. Again, a $137 million gap he has in this budget. It can be closed easily, as we've pointed out, or as I mentioned in the last segment. The $137 million deficit makes up 0.456%, less than one half of 1% of the state's $30 billion budget. Here's another thing Scott Walker has said. Bottom line, this is 10 days later, February 21st. Bottom line, we're trying to balance our budget. There's really no room to negotiate. Why is there no room to negotiate? Because we're broke. News conference that same day, we're broke. We don't have any money. Then he added, we have a $3.6 billion budget for the next two years. Budget deficit for the next two years. Can't negotiate. Don't have any money to negotiate with. March 4th, 2011 budget speech. Facts are clear. Wisconsin is broke. Time to start paying our bills today. We're broke, we're broke, we're broke, we're broke. How you like that? I came up with that one. Walker, Taxes Ranger. Silver Ranger, <laughs> the unsuspecting stranger had better know the truth of wrong from right. Cause the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Any wrong you do, he's gonna see. Is that the way people danced to Walker, Texas Ranger? You know, I didn't my whole life. I never saw this. Not one time. Okay, so they're broke. Uh, by the way, this, is, uh, this piece that I have here is from PolitiFact, Wisconsin. Uh, and a nonpartisan organization, and they have found that many things that they've said are true uh, in their the $3.6 billion budget deficit over the next two years. True that he's talking about. No question. Uh, and that's the out of the $30 billion deficit, that's 12%, and that's not nothing. I talked about with Dave in the last segment. That's a real problem, but that doesn't all come out of the pension fund. Um, so uh, three, uh, $3.6 billion deficit I is true. Uh, and by the way, the PolitiFact Wisconsin has also, just in case you're wondering, uh, defined the term broke. Having no money, bankrupt, without money, penniless. Okay, so now we're clear. So. Here's a couple of other things now that PolitiFact Wisconsin has done to establish whether Scott Walker is telling the truth when he says they are broke. The Wall Street Journal's David Wessel reported in the fall of 2010 that fewer than 250 of the 89,000 government units have filed for bankruptcy since 1980. So 250 out of about 90,000 have filed for bankruptcy. Wisconsin, the state of Wisconsin, is not going to file for bankruptcy. First of all, it's against the law. Federal law prohibits it, but Wisconsin's not going to file for bankruptcy. A columnist for Governing Magazine, by the way, my March issue is late. A columnist for Governing Magazine addressed the issue in the fall of 2010, saying, quote, there may be talk about governments being bankrupt and insolvent when what they mean is, quote, we don't want to raise taxes and we don't want to spend, so we have to cut. Again, we don't want to raise taxes, so we have to cut. That's what they mean when they say they're bankrupt. Wisconsin's rating, and here's the first little stat we want up here, Jesus. Wisconsin's rating was 37th as measured by the amount of debt per capita of the 50 states. Just 37th, pretty good. By the way, 38th debt by GDP, 39th by personal income, and 41st by revenue. So again, Wisconsin actually doing pretty well. That's according to Moody's debt rating. It fares well when compared with other states. Continuing, Connie Kilmark, the owner, she's an owner of a Madison firm that consults people in financial trouble. She said of Walker's broke rhetoric, it's just not true. He's trying to scare us all. Claire Ann Resop, a Madison attorney, she handles bankruptcy and she reviews other bankruptcy cases in that part of the state around Madison. She says broke is measured by whether you can pay your bills and she said she hasn't heard anything about the state of Wisconsin defaulting. Ken King of the Family Service Association in Sheboygan, everybody loves to say Sheboygan, they run a consumer credit counseling center. She said, he says when you have nothing to draw on anymore, you're broke. Wisconsin, plenty to draw on. Ralph 
Ann Zivino. He's a Marquette University law professor, teaches bankruptcy law. He says, broke is a lay term, it's a street term. It is not a real term. It's certainly not a term used in government, certainly not a term used and relevant in this case. And then there's this perspective, it says here from PolitiFact, Wisconsin, from within the state government itself, quote, the state is no more broke than it was two years ago, four years ago, or 10 years ago, says Frank Hoadley, the capital finance director with the State Department of Administration. Two years, four years, 10 years, no more broke than then. Here's the little second stat we want here, Jesus. This is from Moody's, again. Hired by the state to study and rate its debt, Moody's, the Wall Street firm, experts at Moody's rated the state's debt. The state's debt has a high credit rating, according to Moody's, of AA2, and that has not changed in years, comparing favorably with other states. Robert Kuttner, he oversees state and local government's ratings and Moody's investor service, and he says very clearly, that Wisconsin faces unique challenges, but again, this is not a problem that's isolated in Wisconsin and noting in every way that uh, Wisconsin's finance experts around the country, that Wisconsin's dilemma and Walker's assertions are simply not true. And one other thing, two other things to note very seriously about Wisconsin is this, our third point here, Jesus. Wisconsin can raise revenue because they can tax. They just won't. In fact, what Walker wants to do is cut taxes, but they can raise revenue by taxing. They don't even have to tax everyone. They can just raise taxes on the richest Wisconsinites. They could raise corporate taxes. They could eliminate tax loopholes to raise money. He won't do any of that. As we pointed out earlier, that's the problem, is we've had this massive, massive shift to the right the whole system has shifted to the right because nobody, no one, no one wants to raise taxes. And finally, point four, a point we made in an earlier segment, but it bears repeating. Wisconsin's pension program, solvent for the next 18 years, assuming no growth and no further contributions. No growth and no further contributions. Robert Ward, Deputy Director of the Nelson Rockefeller Institute for Government at the State University of New York. He, of course, pointing out that governors in both political parties need to make deep cuts across the board in every state, and they want to make deep cuts, and none of them want to raise taxes more than they might have even in flush times. He says, quote, for both Democrats and Republicans, the politically acceptable range for budget cuts, budget cuts has moved a couple of notches to the right. Nobody wants to raise taxes. A couple of bold governors are willing to do that, and we're going to talk about that momentarily. So again, Wisconsin not broke. Scott Walker, just flat out. He's just flat out lying. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house. No late charges. Free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT. Free trial membership. You get Netflix all over you.